For me, critical thinking, I think I've always been a critical thinker. Um, since I was very young, I've been sort of drawn to it um, in sort of its most minute ways, I guess, um, just overanalyzing everything. So um, always overanalyzing um, interactions with people, um, things that I see on TV, um, songs. Um, breaking things down into smaller parts, that's the basic definition of analysis. So, um, you know, listening to a song and breaking down those lyrics um, into smaller parts, what they mean, how they relate to the larger context of the song. Now I sort of practice critical thinking on more of a uh, academic level, obviously. Um, with my students, I like to get them involved with critical thinking in um, the same ways that I was drawn to it initially. So, um, for example, one of my assignments that I teach in first year composition is um, taking a, a very broad term like courage or love um, and trying to break that down into smaller parts. So what does that actually mean? What are examples of it? How do, what does it mean to you? Um, where do you, what are some um, occurrences in your everyday life, um, in politics, in media, um, where you can start to have a better understanding of that term. Critical thinking is just being able to break large concepts down into smaller ones and then sort of redefining how you place yourself in a society. I'm always teaching critical thinking. Um, writing in itself um, is a critical thinking, an exercise in critical thinking. So you have to take a claim, you have to make a claim, um, and then you have to be able to support that uh, with smaller claims. So that in itself is analysis, thinking critically. So um, if you want to, uh, to persuade somebody, you have to think of you know, examples to sort of get them on your side, right? And you have to be able to prove those examples. So just about every writing assignment that I incorporate into my teaching schedule has something to do with um, taking something from the everyday, like, um, like a news story or um, a TV show or a documentary, something along those lines. Um, that you would encounter daily, and then thinking about what the larger context for it is, um, how it applies to your life, how it changes the world around you. The hope is that as they become better thinkers, then they can apply those to other classes, right? So if they have to do sort of complex readings for other classes, they'll have better skills for that. Um, also, you know, talking to people, uh, presenting themselves as a smart analytical person is really important, um, especially as competition gets greater and greater in schools and in, in jobs and things like that. So I try to sort of give them something to latch on to, um, to sort of enter into a text, right, and then they can sort of apply that to other aspects of their lives. But what's so great about being able to think critically is that once you get past that wall, it opens up so many other doors. So, um, for instance, if you can if you can break through one of those texts that I was talking about in one of my classes, you can think about you know breaking it down into smaller parts and understanding those smaller parts and relating to it. Once you do that, you've built that skill to apply that to other texts, to other contexts as well. Um, so I think that that would be probably my biggest piece of advice is to not be intimidated even when it gets very frustrating.